What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone, and welcome to Veteran Gaming Rage Shadow Legends. I am Aaron, and tonight we are finally going to fuse the Vault Keeper Wixwell during clan versus clan. Everything worked out really, really nicely. Before I fuse him real quick, I do want to talk about the fusion and the fusion events and tournaments and stuff overall. Uh, because the whole the whole reason for doing this series was to figure out if an account like mine can do this. And frankly, I, I did it relatively easily. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about all my resources. Uh, obviously, the energy I try to keep down all the time. I do not hoard energy. The only energy that I essentially hoarded was I did have a 2,000 uh, experience from something I purchased a long time ago. So my gem count is a little artificially high uh, because I would have had to refresh several times using gems to get that amount of energy. So gem count might be a little high, but energy was definitely not an issue throughout. My silver count is already back up to 14 million. I didn't have any struggles with my silver at all for what, the three artifact enhancement events? I'm pretty sure there were three. Um, two or three, whatever it was, I never had any problem. I still have plenty of forge materials that I could have even made more if I wanted to. But frankly, from Ice Golem, Fire Knight, Dragon, and then Spider, just farming those for the tournaments and events was more than enough to then go ahead and complete the artifact enhancement events. So silver was not an issue. I don't think you really need a stockpile. I think I started with like 20 million, but very, very reasonable. I could have easily started with uh, a lower amount if I would have used some more forge materials or something like that. So I had some good fallback stuff available. My gem count here, I want to say I started at like 2300. It is down, but that's actually uh, that's actually due to bad planning for the most part. I, uh, I didn't pay enough attention to the ascension materials, and I ended up having to go into the dungeon and paying gems to do the void keep and the force keep, which was I think like 500 gems. So... Had I been paying a bit more attention and paid attention to the ascension materials needed, I could have done it without burning those extra gems, which is a real bummer because if you're farming Minotaur, like that's almost a full hero mastery set right there. So in the future, if it's a traditional fusion like Wixwell was and you need all these ascension mats, definitely pay attention to that when you're doing the fusion. If it's one of the fragment summon fusions, you don't have to worry about that because you're just winning the tournaments and events and stuff. But if it's an old school fusion like Wixwell, make sure you're paying attention to your ascension materials. And if needed, hit these dungeons when they're open. That way you're not burning gems like I did. So it's fine. It was one of those like learn from your mistakes kind of things. Um, in general, I'm still very happy with the way that this fusion went. I mean, I got what? I'm, I'm about to fuse Wixwell. I also got, where are you at? Uh, where are you at? There you go. Lanatharil, uh from the Sacred Shard pulls. I got some other decent epics and stuff from both the Sacreds and Ancients. I only had to pull 50 Ancients and 5 Sacreds for all of the Summon and Hero events. So I still have 102 and 16 saved up there. So I'm still in good shape. Like, I could essentially rock another Fusion right now if they started one. Which is not too shabby at all. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to the next Fusion. I'm definitely going to be trying to hammer out these Fusions. Because other than it being a little time consuming with like dungeon divers, I really thought this was very, very doable. Uh, so there you go. There's my thoughts on the fusion. I'm definitely going to try it for them in the future. Really not that resource taxing. You're going to regenerate a lot of your resources through rewards from the tournaments and events that you're partaking in throughout the event. So not too shabby. There, I'm done. I'm off my soapbox. Do a fusion, guys. It's worth it. Because now we are about to put wicks well to the fusion during a clan versus clan which is pretty sweet and here we go one two three show me the wicks well oh he's over here show me the wicks well boom and thirty thousand tournament points you can't argue with that wicks well welcome to the team buddy absolutely excited to have you uh i want to see what you can do with the infinite shield stuff i want to see what you can do in hydra absolutely pumped uh let's see what we can do right away we're gonna spend because this is clan versus clan and this is personal rewards uh we're gonna put some books into him right away come here you upgrade some skills let's see what we get we're probably you know what let's just do all three want max another nine thousand tournament points 
Oh, sweet. We just got the basic all the way up to four. Thank you for that, RNG. That's absolutely horrendous, but whatever. We got to book him out essentially fully anyway. Really want to get the cooldowns there. And probably going to try to end up pairing him in some clan boss setup stuff with uh, Painkeeper. See if we can get some kind of shield setup running. I don't know what I'm going to do with clan boss just because I, I have the materials and the heroes to make an unkillable team. I'm just waiting for that free gear reset. Uh, but with Wixwell, I also have some options there for the infinite shield kind of stuff. So we're going to we're gonna kind of see how that plan or that plays out. Uh, but good news is I think the plan tonight is I'm just going to run Minotaur throughout the night to level Wixwell. Uh, and then I already have the five-star food to get him up to six. By So hopefully by tomorrow, I will have him six. And then also for clan versus clan, tomorrow I'm going to have a uh, helmet. Once Doom Tower resets, I'll have enough to get Archmaid Helmet. So I'll either summon him during clan versus clan if it's close, or I will just wait and hold on. I don't know. Archmage Helmet is so good, though. I might just say I, I got I to gotta take him as soon as possible. Really strong hero. I have the books waiting for him. I don't think I have all the books. How many does he need? I got like seven. Holy cow, he's got a ton of books. I definitely don't have all the books I need. But we can get him a good way through. And he's a strong hero, so we're going to spend the books on him for sure. But hey, there we go. Again, guys, thanks for checking out the channel during this fusion event. We have Wixwell. We're pumped to have Wixwell. Whatever I do with him, I'm going to try to upload to the channel so we can see some other comps that hopefully work for him, for a clan boss, Hydra, all that fun stuff. So if you got your Wix well, if you're pumped, let me know about it in the comment section down below. If you got any ideas on where he is absolutely phenomenal to use, comment section down below, guys. Not only helps me, but helps everybody that checks out these videos. If you enjoy the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun, good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.